today I'm reviewing the Kinship Self Smooth 10% Glycolic Acid Resurfacing Serum. And really quick, I just want to say, purchase these products with my own money. I'll never waste your time with sponsors or videos. So if you want to help support the channel, check out nobusb.com, check out my Patreon community, or click on the links below. Okay, I'm so excited to review this one because I picked this up right when it came out, tested it, almost finished it, and then my friend wanted to borrow it and give it a try. She really hadn't ever tried any exfoliants. And the only real active product she'd ever tried before that was vitamin C, which was the geek and gorgeous one that I gave her. So anyway, so I gave her my last bottle and Trend Mood came out with a new box with this product in it. So now I've got my backup and she's got uh, half a bottle to play around with and see if she likes it. So, so far she's said good things. So, and really the only, literally the only other active she's ever tried was the Sea Glow from Geek and Gorgeous that I gave her. Otherwise, she's just moisturizer and foundation. That is it. So anyway, I'm getting her into skincare and... Once I get her addicted to it, then I'll have her come on the show and talk about her favorites or something. So anyway, so good times. Okay, so the Kinship Self Smooth is a transformative 10% glycolic resurfacing serum that works overnight to visibly shrink pores, improve texture, and brighten skin without irritation. So I got a lot to say about this, but okay, hang on. Let me let me get going. Okay, my first right here is packaging. This is weird how they kind of consider it a serum. It's kind of liquidy. It comes in a, uh, like a toner bottle, so it's uh, pretty easy to use. Let me see if it's recyclable. I believe it's recyclable, but um, but if not, I send all my stuff to TerraCycle anyway. So, and then they take it apart, and because typically, like, if one little piece of plastic ends up in the wrong bin, I've heard things like the whole thing can get scrapped, so to be safe or sorry, it's better off to send them somewhere else so you can make sure that they all get recycled the proper way, because I've heard things. That's why... Uh, Coca-Cola, they've had green Sprite bottles for, like, the entire time they made Sprite. Now they made it clear because that green shade of Sprite bottle makes it too hard to recycle. So now that it's a clear bottle, it's more easily recyclable, which is awesome. So anyway, okay, uh, on to my second criteria, which is uh, denatured drink types of alcohol. It does not contain any of those. It's also fragrance-free and has no fragrance ingredients. I will say it has, like, like a bit of, like, a earthy like almost like a seed scent but it dissipates immediately so it almost has like a I don't know how to describe it like almost like a like a watermelon seed scent but it goes away immediately so and it's not strong or anything like that but it does have a little bit of a scent to it but not a bad one or uh from fragrant ingredients uh the manufacturing location for this one is the U.S. so no issues with that so ease of use I'm going to do a quick pH test because glycolic acid to be effective is extremely pH dependent. There we go. I won't say I've already pH tested this, but I have. Uh, and when I pH tested it, to me, it looked like it was right between three and four. Uh, probably I would say maybe like 3.3 between that and three and a half. So for that, it's perfect for the pH for glycolic acid. So I did a good job with that because that was going to be my first question was a lot of brands make glycolic products, especially newer brands or smaller brands, and they don't properly pH it. This stuff is properly pH'd. Uh, so they recommend using three shakes on to cleanse face and neck in the evening, avoiding eye area, of course. I also occasionally will use this just on a cotton pad uh, after cleansing. Sometimes, sometimes I just cleanse. Even though I do the double cleansing, sometimes it just feels like there's a little bit of residue on there. So I like using sometimes a cotton pad, although a lot of brands now have the recyclable cotton pads, which is awesome. You use them, put them in this laundry bag they give you, and you put it in your washer, which is awesome. Uh, so sometimes I use it that way. Sometimes I just pat on the skin. just depends on what I feel like that day, I guess. Um, so it smooths over skin really nicely. It takes a minute to absorb. I do recommend using it in your evening routine. And after you use it, give it a couple minutes to soak in. Uh, typically like when it's soaking in, I'll do my eye care routine or whatever, eyelash or eye cream, give it a minute to soak in and then move on to your next step. If you're new to exfoliants, they recommend using it three times a week or every other night, um, to slowly build up your skin's tolerance to the glycolic acid. Um, so there we go. I also highly recommend doing a patch test with this one before you use it on your entire face. You should be doing patch tests with everything. Guilty. I'm guilty. I don't do it with everything. I don't do it as often as I should. But I will mention sodium hydroxide is pretty high up this ingredient list. Sodium hydroxide, also known as like lye, 
it's a pH and a buffering ingredient. Some people can be very sensitive to it, and it is in this product the one, two, three, four, fifth ingredient. So it's still pretty high up there, and some people are gonna be sensitive to it. So I do recommend doing a patch test, especially with an exfoliant, and especially with, sorry, especially with uh, something with that ingredient high up. So it's just better off with, especially with actives, doing a patch test just in case. Um, okay, so otherwise very easy to use, no issues with that. Uh, okay, so beneficial ingredients in this one. So we've got 10% glycolic acid. It's the most researched L-hydroxy acid. Uh, with the most proven benefits, it helps lift up dead skin cells, helps to reveal uh, newer, fresher, smoother skin. It can help skin's own collagen production as well that will help firm up skin. I typically recommend there's different groups of exfoliants. There's HAs, BHAs, or salicylic acid, PHAs. Typically for those who are a little bit older, if you can, I recommend using alpha hydroxy acid such as glycolic acid because it is the one proven to help firm skin up and help with fine lines and wrinkles. But if you have oily or acne prone skin, salicylic acid is the way to go. Extremely sensitive skin, PHAs are the way to go then in my opinion. But if you're older, things like that, glycolic acid is good because it's unique that way that it uh, can help with younger skin. It also can help fade uh, brown spots and sun damage. So it's an amazing ingredient. You don't want to do too much of it, but doing it the proper way and building your skin's tolerance to it is the way to go. And I think in the long run, you'll be very happy with it. Okay, next up we've got strawberry fruit extract, which is an astringent ingredient, which means it absorbs oil and sebum. We've got oat seed extract, which is skin soothing and skin conditioning ingredient. We've got lactobacillus ferment, which is a skin soothing as well as preservative ingredient. We've got jojoba esters, which is a soothing and emollient ingredient. We've got blackberry extract, which is another uh, astringent ingredient. So it made this kind of making this one seem pretty good for oilier skin types. We've got raspberry fruit extract, which is a great antioxidant as well as skin soothing ingredient. We've got apple fruit extract, which is a moisturizing ingredient. We've got da 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 sodium hyaluronate. It's a humectant. It's in everything. We've got pineapple fruit extract, which is soothing and humectant ingredient. Pineapple fruit, uh, really nice for skin. Uh, we've got arginine, a skin identical ingredient. We've got olantolin, nice skin soothing ingredient. We've got vitamin E, uh, antioxidant hydrate ingredient. Panthenol, skin soothing ingredient. We've got lecithin, which is a good emollient. And then finally, visible, which is a skin soothing ingredient. So really nice uh, list of nice soothing ingredients, oil absorbing ingredients, and exfoliating ingredients in this product. So I love the fact that they put in some good soothing ingredients as well as antioxidants into this one. So really nice job, really nice ingredient list. I'm pretty impressed with it. When I saw this product come out, I was pretty excited because I like a lot of Kinship products, but a couple of kinship things that are really fruity and do have a scent so i was nervous but this is awesome so i was really happy about it okay in terms of animal testing this is cruelty free as well as vegan which is awesome i said awesome a lot in this video didn't i hey dude it's awesome or amazing okay anyway uh so for performance so again if you have very sensitive skin patch test it because of that high amount of sodium hydroxide but um, otherwise, this one does a nice job exfoliating skin. It's not too strong. I mean, there's some exfoliants that are crazy strong or sometimes they have 10% glycolic acid and then certain other exfoliants added in. Uh, and this one has a really nice amount of it. Uh, the good percentage, 10%, right about where you want it in the proper pH. Uh, it does contain a few acneogenic ingredients to mention. Uh, actually, just two, vitamin E and hexylene glycol. Otherwise, it's pretty friendly for most skin types with the exception of those with the most sensitive skin. Otherwise, it seems to be also a really good option for oilier skin types and just a really nice overall uh, liquidy serum toner kind of. That's kind of kind of considered more of a toner than a serum, but anyway. Okay, in terms of the price. So this is the full size 2.2 ounces, 63 milliliters. Retails for $28. A little bit goes a long way, especially if you just pat it onto your face like a serum, uh, a bottle like this. When did it come out? Anyway, since the day it came out and I got it, I went through half a bottle and it's probably maybe two months. So, uh, so a bottle like this will probably last four months with every other day use, which is a pretty good deal in my opinion, especially since it's a smaller brand. Uh, then in terms of the It Factor, really nice exfoliant. Uh, probably great for oily skin types with its several fruit astringent ingredients. It's fragrance-free. It's affordable. Cruelty-free to boot. 
Uh, proper pH seems to be a winner all the way around in my opinion. This one is a true winner. Kinship products are hit or miss for me. Their moisturizer is wonderful. Their cleansers are kind of not the best, but their moisturizers and some of their other products are just wonderful. Their sunscreens, I love their sunscreens too. So um, anyway, can't go wrong with Kinship except for like their mint mask or something like that. Anyway, I tried it, I hated it, but everything else from them that I, I really love. So anyway, uh, anyway, so with a 10 being a perfect score, I gave this one a 10. Certainly worth checking out, especially uh, if you're where you can pick this up pretty easily at Ulta. So um, anyway, I love hearing from you guys. Leave a comment. Interested if you guys have had a chance to check this one out yet or not, or if you try anything else out from Kinship. I uh, love hearing from you guys and stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye guys.